Hello and welcome back. Here we have a how to wire a light switch. Now here's my disclaimer. I am not a licensed electrician and I do not know much of the electrical code. So if you do not feel comfortable doing this for yourself, do us both a favor and hire a licensed electrician. Now that I know which one my hot is, I'm going to go ahead and turn the breaker off and then get to wiring up some switches. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim this down so that I don't have a whole bunch that I have to fold up into the gang box. Maybe I'll trim this down. Alright, so what I got going on here is you know you gotta trim it down because you don't want to stuff all that into the box. And then I'm just cutting the insulation, the outside cable sheath. You pull that back and be very careful not to slice your finger on that metal box like I did. And then you have to use your wire stripping tool and strip off the insulation of these individual wires here both your black again your conductor and your whites are your neutrals and your copper is bare so you don't have to strip that one congratulations for your ground Alright, so I'm stripping my neutrals a little short because those ones are all going to be wire nutted together. So my, my black wires are, again, the conducting wire and I'm going to put that nice little J-hook in there on these. Now on your on your light switches, you've just all you have is the one side. You've got two of these on your and they're both for your conductor and then your ground. Your light switch is normally grounded. So what you do is all you're doing is you're breaking the circuit with the flip of the switch. So you don't do uh if you do a conductor and a neutral that's going to direct out and it's not it's not going to work so what you got to do is break the circuit so you tie all your neutrals together in your gang box so that you, that's taken care of and then you just let one your conductor do the the breaking part okay there's no rhyme or reason for why i do this but i am putting the wires leaving going to the different light banks on the top right here this is not the hot wire coming from the bank you may ask it's like well why do i have two switches i'm, I'm going to do half the front half of the garage is going to be on one light set switch and the back half is going to be on the other now it's time to get to that pesky third cable this cable is the cable that comes in from the breaker box panel and again I just stripped it or cut it down to more of a workable size. Uh, the longer cable size in there is what's called roughing in your electrical. You're going you're gonna to run all your wires and cables and you rough them into a length that's like that and then when you come back and put all your fixtures in you cut them down to working size. So cut it, stripped it and here we go. All right, so now that I'm working with the one that is hot from the breaker panel, what I'm going to do is I can, I'm going to go ahead and tie all of the, my neutrals together. So it's kind of important to try and get all the ends close to each other at least for you stick them in the nut and twist them down. All right, so again, you can do your little, little pull test in there. Now let's just, uh, the idea after that is just get this, get the neutrals out of the way, push them into the box. They're done, you don't want anything to do with them. 
from these stub ends. Typically, if they're not terribly long, you can just pull the sheathing off and now you have your wires. So, using one of those, I'm going to break it in half and that's going to be kind of two pigtails. Again, I'm stripping the one end just so that it'll go into the wire nut and then I'm stripping the other end a little bit longer so that I can make that J. And sometimes, I mean, when you're making them, when you're stripping them a little bit longer, sometimes you'll find it's just easier because you're pulling all that wire off the copper. It's easier to start small and then go again. Also the twisting motion that's that helps cut all the sheathing around the wire. So, so I'm going to take my short ends. I'm going to Go with this, my conductor side here. Again, just go until it's tight and then test it out, test the waters. That's not going anywhere. Get the needle noses. Put my hooks in. And then this is the second side to my switches. All right, so after I uh, pigtailed out all of my conductors here, the power coming in from the panel is going to be on the bottom screw of the light switches, and that's uh, currently what I'm doing right there. Again, it's not like it matters, it's just how I did it, and then after that I kind of come back and I'm going to do some pigtails also for just the solid copper wires for the grounds on the plugs also. and. Uh, so the pigtails there, originally I was going to jump them. You can jump from one switch to the other, but being that one has to have a pigtail, putting both the pigtail and the copper jumper across, putting two on the same grounding lug wasn't something that I wanted to do. So I decided just to pigtail both of them back to all of the other ground wires. So another thing, I mean, if you were just wiring in one switch, you wouldn't have to worry about all of these different pigtails that I did here. You could do it with one wire and ideally you could not even have to cut your neutral wire and just cut your black conductor wire and put it on the two different nuts of the switch and then put your copper ground on. But I needed two switches. So before I go ahead and get all that figured out, I got one light bulb in, I'm going to go ahead and hit the breaker and I'm going to see if uh, either it's going to trip out on me, which I hope it doesn't. I don't think it will. Or, and then I'm just going to go over here and see which one of these light switches actually turns the front ones on. And it appears that this one's going to turn it on because it's already on. Ha 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 ha, David. He he he. That was stupid of me, but hey, you know, this is the one that is. So, seeing as how I actually want this to be on the front, I am going to go ahead and undo my mistake and just turn the breaker off. All it is is a matter of, you know, undoing the wires and doing them again. All right, so I'm like coming back here and I look at this stuff. I was like, okay, I can just take off both my, all my grounds. I take all the wires off and then switch the plugs or the switches in, put all the wires back on and yeah, that'll work. But then it's just, it just dawned on me all of a sudden. It's like, hey, Nimrod, all you have to do is change out those two top uh, conductor wires because those are the ones going out to your light banks. So uh, luckily a light bulb, ha ha hardy heart, clicked on and I just had to switch out that top wire and it worked out for me.
see if my front wire does it. Got it in the right order, turn the breaker off, shove the wires in, put it in, and if you've got a cover plate, which I currently do not, put the cover plate on. All right, so now that I know my uh, electrical work is working, uh, it's time to, uh, you know, you, you can, there's certain, you'll learn it as you go, but ways to fold those wires so that they kind of compress into the box nicely. Um, I don't really know it yet. I know a little bit, but there's still much to be learned in doing this. And uh, again, like I say, the uh, master electricians, they can stuff a box quite well. All right, so sometimes you have to actually, like if you have a lot of wiring back in there, it's hard to get all the wires pushed in and keep these straight. They might cock off to the side or something. And, and you can kind of come in sometimes and twist it and get it where you need it. Also, something else, when you go to put your cover plate over this, your switches might not line up where you want them to. So what do you do? Well, what you actually have here is it's slotted so that, ooh look, made in USA. It's slotted so you just can loosen it and you can, it's slotted top and bottom. So this is how you can do a little bit of adjustment there, get it where you need it, tighten it down. So I don't have my cover plate yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and just snug it a little bit. All right, so I'm sorry I don't have a cover plate, but oh look, I happen to have one that I can show right here. These screws right here on your cover plate. Those screws are gonna screw in right here, right up here, and then the same place is over on this one. Some people say, hey, look, I have my switch in upside down or this or that. It's like, you know what, you can have it whichever way you want. But I like to have it the way where the words are in the right direction that you can read it. All right, so there you have it. Hope this one was useful to you as well. Thanks for watching.